Hello, it's Chris from Chrism Acrylic Pouring. We're based in the UK and this is the painting I'm going to be demonstrating today. I've been experimenting on a series of paintings trying to represent either a kind of a sliver of landscape or just a graduation of colours using flip cut pores. This painting was going to represent kind of like a coastal section. So I started off with a sky, sand, and then two tones of um, graduated blues for the sea. So the first cup was representing sky. So I started off with a layer of white, and to this I added silicon. Next was a layer of pale blue, which was a custom mixed color. Cerulean blue, pale blue again, some phthalo blue, and I ended up with cerulean blue. The second cup was representing beach, kind of sandy colours. So I started well off with a primary yellow and I added silicon to this, a cadmium yellow, which is very orangey, my mellow yellow, Naples yellow, burnt umber for just a wee bit of depth, and then finished off with the cadmium yellow again. The third cup was representing a lighter sea colour, so I was concentrating on more lighter blues. So I started off with cerulean blue, I added silicon to this, and then a gorgeous phthalo blue. Then I added a wee bit of the um, sky pale blue that I had custom mixed myself. Then I put some cerulean blue in, and then for some depth, a bit of Prussian blue, and then I finished off with phthalo blue. My last cup was representing dark sea, so I started off with Prussian blue and I added silicon to this, cerulean blue, phthalo blue, a nice layer of black, cerulean blue, and then I finished off with um, Prussian blue. I wanted all the colours to be relatively blended in the cup, so I put a cross shape using my wooden stirrer in all of the cups to help this I flipped all the cups quite gently so I wouldn't distort the actual plastic cups that I was using which are a bit shonky and then when I'd finished each cup got a little drum roll just for good luck. I left the cups sitting on the canvas for a couple of minutes and this gave a chance for all the paint to drain down through the cup. And then I did my reveal and I must admit some of the colours that were coming out of the cups were truly beautiful. With some of the leftover paint in the cups I put this on the corners and this would just help when I was coming to tilt the piece. I then gave it a wee torch and this was just to get rid of some of the air bubbles because we've been flinging paint around and also to help activate the silicon. I started doing my tilting, I was just taking my time, rocking the canvas from side to side and slowly bringing down the paint to the edges. I always find that if I do this stage really carefully and slowly, it helps me keep the large cells. So I just take my time, it does make your back ache a bit, you do want to speed it up but you know that if you do, you're going to lose some beautiful shapes. I've now sped up the video so you can see the whole process without spending all day watching paint move.
the canvas was covered, I did make sure all the edges were fully covered with paint. And then I gave, I always say I gave it a wee torch, but I always get carried away with my torching. But this is just to get the cells to activate even more and to get rid of um, air bubbles. And I just love doing it. When I got to this stage and I stood back from the painting, I didn't like that really strong black section. There wasn't enough graduation in there. I needed to break up this band of black colour. So in a couple of places I added some white paint and I blew this out with a straw to soften it. Once I started fiddling around with the painting, I couldn't stop myself. So I used um, a toothpick and just pulled this through some of the white to create more of a kind of decorative pattern. Here's the dried canvas and I do think it is a slice of coastal happiness. The piece is relatively textured because I reused an old canvas. I had gessoed it and sanded the old canvas but there was still a lot of residual texture. But I don't mind having this texture in a painting because it just adds a bit more interest for me anyway. I do think these sort of paintings work really well on this shape and size of canvas. For me, there's something very pleasing about the shape and having a slice of landscape or graduated colour works really well. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and if you would like to see further paintings, please do subscribe. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.